Hey guys, welcome to another installment in our Vector Database Fundamentals series. Today we're going to be talking about cosine similarity. Cosine similarity is the angle between two vectors, which I've marked here with this purple line. The way that cosine similarity is calculated looks pretty complicated, but what it really is um, in terms of a concept is it's the dot product or the inner product, which we, which we looked at earlier, and then it is divided by the magnitude of the vectors. And so what this is, is essentially it's normalized inner product as if every vector had a magnitude of one. And you'll look and you can see that queen and king in this example don't have magnitudes of one. Um, but this is, that's when it is best used because it is more efficient at that point. So the cosine similarity here is done by doing a dot product and then dividing by the magnitudes. So in our case, it's what we just did earlier, the dot product, 0.3 times uh, 0.5 plus 0.9 times 0.7. And then we also have to take the magnitudes of the vectors, which for queen is 0.3 squared plus 0.9 squared. And for king is 0.5 squared plus 0.7 squared. And when we take this and we add it up, we get 0.78 divided by square root of 0.9 times square root of 0.74, or 0.78 divided by square root of 0.666, which is about 0.03. Thanks for watching, and if this was helpful for you, um, please remember to like and subscribe.